Hi guys, JD Gravity here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a subscribers request here. The request is that I show him how to set up the SK7 X7 uh, transmitter that comes with the SKX251 quadcopter. Um, he wants to set it up to bind and use with his SKK123 helicopter. So um, it's, it's supposed to have the same protocol and should bind but um, I think he has two problems. First problem is binding and the second problem is if it, if it binds how do you set up your SKX7 controller to use with SKK123? So for the first question, binding is quite easy. So all you have to do is you just turn on the transmitter, assuming that this is all set up. You turn on the transmitter, then connect the battery to your helicopter and press the bind button. Uh, for one second or two seconds, release it. Then the lights goes off, and when it's bound, then the lights come back on. Then you know that it's bound. So, from my personal experience in binding with my SK X100, you will take a, take several tries um, to get it bound successfully. So. Just try a few times. At the outset, I need to say that I don't have the helicopter SKK123, but I do know how to set up the transmitter. So this is a video just to help you set up the model uh, for your SKK123 with X7 transmitter. So first of all, you need to go look at your um, instruction menu I think it's a couple of pages down you will find this setup uh, settings for your transmitter so you can see it has the um, settings for throttle curve and pitch curve so all you need to do is just follow these settings and you can set up your SKX7 controller. So what I have done is I just turn on my SKX7 transmitter that comes with uh, my SKX251. Um, I know with the uh, SKX7 transmitter it comes factory set for I think um, hang on. comes with 10 models. So I have uh, previously uh, uh, played around with this X7 transmitter and I know that some of the models are for helicopters. So what I have done is I've just cycled through the model and I just find the uh, the correct one that has a similar pitch curve and throttle curve to the diagram that I showed you and so that I don't have to mess around too much with the uh, settings. So what you need to do to go into the model select you press the mode and the back button together Hold it, hold it for a few seconds, and then the uh, the numbers start blinking. So what I did was I just press, I just push, press the push button, and then it goes into model select, and I just cycle through, and I found that uh, model number eight is the suitable one for the helicopter. So once you get to model number 8, just press push again, just to confirm it. 
and then press back and then it's set to model 8 so the model type will be helicopter so you don't you don't um, mess around with any of the other settings so what you do now is you press back and then you exit the um, model select menu the next thing that you need to do is just press the mode button for a few seconds then you will then you can see all these uh, options starts blinking so what you need to do you need to go to uh, throttle scroll down using this scroll wheel scroll down to you don't have to do to deal with any of the other settings just scroll down to throttle curve and make sure that all the switches are up and so that this is just, just a normal throttle curve so you press you push the button and then you just check the numbers so number one is zero 45, 70, 85, 100. With this chart, you can see that the normal curve is 0, 45. So let's cycle back. Zero, number 1 is 0. Number 2 is 45. Number 3 is 65. This one is 70, so it doesn't matter that much. But if you want to change it, just press push and then just scroll wheel, make it 65. So I'll just keep it at 70. It's up to you. Then the next one is 80. This one is 85. So the curve will be slightly, slightly different to this. Maybe it's just a small difference here. And then the last one is 100, which is the same. So press OK. So now you cycle through and press no. And then you press back. Then you you go you go out to this uh, option selection called the pitch curve. So make sure again all these buttons are up. And with pitch curve, just press just press uh, push to enter. And then just cycle through the one, two, three, four, five, and see the uh, the number. So you have 40, 45. So it's the same as here, pitch curve, 40, 45. The next one is 50. This one is 56. Again, if you want to change it, all you need to do is push the button and then use the scroll wheel. Okay, and then push the button again to confirm it so it goes to the next one so according to the chart the next one is 60 and this is 60 and then the last one is 70 so all this is confirmed for the normal uh, throttle curve and pitch curve so the next thing to do is to Set up the uh, throttle curve for the um, 3D. So, according to the chart, the 3D is all 3D idle is all 100, 100, 100. So, 3D is actually uh, this shoulder button, which is the F mode switch. So, what you need to do is you need to push the switch forward then you can see the, the the bar here is all darkened so this is 3D mode so you are on the throttle curve so just press push again and then just check 100, 200, 100, 100, 100, 100 so that's correct so all you need to do is go back up and then you go down the pitch curve use the scroll wheel and then just check the numbers so according to the pitch curve for 3D idle is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So let's just check 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. All right, that's, so that's confirmed. So let's go back up. Let's push this back. So 
you don't have to mess around with all the other settings so basically you're all set so what you need to do is just press back and now this is all the this is the model for your SK K123 so what you need to do now is connect battery to your uh, K123 heli press the buy button and then the lights go off and once it's powered the lights come back on and then you're ready to go so that's it for this video on how to set up your SK X7 transmitter to bind and use with your SKK123 helicopter. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this is JT Gravity RC. Cheers.